good day everyone i hope you are all doing fine welcome to another smart bucard video tutorial on the course reliability and maintainability in our last class we talked about reliability evaluation tool of which uh we stated different methods and different evaluation techniques so we talked about uh the network reduction method the decomposition method the delta to star method and the supplementary reliability method so today we will be solving a question let's uh, read the question and see a network made up of seven independent units representing a system shown below each reliability ri is given below as you can see they are, they are being given calculate the network reliability by using network reduction method so uh we are asked to calculate the reliability of this system using the network reduction method so remember in our last class i explained how we can use network reduction method to solve for probability is quite straightforward so it's just the combination of the addition law and the multiplication law so we continue with using our system until we get to the final answer so solution so diving into the solution now as we can see these two are connected in series these three are connected in series so we can start by reducing our system multiplying this the two reliabilities here and the three reliabilities at the down the first level of our reduction will be let's call re re to be equal to the reliability of four and five so reliability of four multiplied by the reliability of five and this is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.9 so this is equal to so this is equal to 0 0.72 so let's call the reliability the total reliability here this three reliability let's call it rb so rb is equal to the reliability of one multiplied by the reliability of two multiplied by the reliability of three so and this is equal to 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.9 and this is equal to 0 0.378 so now we've reduced our system to the first level so let's redraw our system let's redraw the system so now we're drawing the system we are going to have something like this so here is re here is our re which is equal to 0 0.72 So here is our RB, which is the reliability of 1, 2, and 3. Here is our RB, which is equal to 0 0.378. So here is our normal uh, network reliability, which is R7. Here is R7, which is equal to 0 0.9. And here is R6, which is 0 0.8. R6, which is equal to 0 0.8. So now looking at this uh, system very carefully, you can see we have A and RB. They are parallel r6 and r7 are also in parallel so now let's call it the reliability of these two parallel this first one let's call it rc so rc will be equal to the reliability of the of a and b connected in parallel which is one minus open bracket one minus reliability of a multiplied by one minus reliability of b so this is equal to 1 minus open bracket 1 minus reliability of a is 0 0.72 and reliability of b is 0 0.378 so this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.28 multiplied by 0 0.622 so now this can be further simplified into we are having our r of c to be equal to 1 minus 0 0.2 0 0.17416 and this is equal to 0 0.8258 which is approximately 0 0.83 so now the reliability of Z c is 0 0.83 so now reliability of let's call the reliability of uh, 6 and 7 d so rd the reliability of 6 and 7 in parallel will be equal to 1 minus open bracket 1 minus reliability of 6 close bracket 1 minus reliability of 7 so this is equal to 1 minus open bracket 1 minus 0 0.8 of close bracket 1 minus 0 0.9 so this is equal to this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.1 and this is equal to 
and this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.02 which is equal to 0 0.98 so now you can see we further re we, we have reduced so now you can see we have reduced reduce our system which is this which is this and this to be a single component so now you can so we can further represent our system as this we are having reliability of c here and reliability of d here so here is reliability of c which is equal to 0 0.83 and here is reliability of d which is equal to 0 0.98 so this as you can see this is they are in series so we are just going to multiply so the total reliability of the network or the system is equal to rc multiplied by rd which is equal to 0 0.83 multiplied by 0 0.98 and this is finally equal to 0 0.8093 so as you can see this is very simple and it is very straightforward uh, using the network reduction method I hope you understand uh, this tutorial or you have any question you want me to solve you can put it on the comment section we will meet in our next tutorial where we will be solving the delta to star method thank you for watching this video